relationships take a lot of work, but right now you're at home, you're working from home, your partner's at home, things can get a little tense, right? Relationship expert, Dr. Gilda Carl is joining us this morning. You have some great advice on how we can best communicate with our partner, roommate, or whoever it is we're stuck at home with, because you know, quite frankly, Dr. Gilda, we all just have to get along. We have to get along. There is one roof, and there are many of us underneath that roof. That's right, so that's right. Use the Dr. Gilda fair fighting formula. Two things, somebody is angry at you, and you know, the, the rubber band goes like this, and then it breaks, yeah. because it's too tight. So that person is saying, you did this and you did this and why do you always do this? Instead of falling into that trap, take a moment, take a deep, deep breath and then say, when you say that to me, I feel as though you're treating me like a child. Mm. So you're setting it up with, with, when you do this, I feel this way. And the emphasis is on my feeling not you, you, you. Because if you point the finger of you did this, then the person is gonna come back and it's going to escalate. And you can't afford that under one roof. Right, right. So it's really about the words and the choice of words on how to kind of uh, maybe just calm the situation down. It can escalate though, Dr. Gilda. Oh my God, it can escalate. And that's why when you say that, don't scream. When you did this, this is how it goes. No, you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to say in a modulated tone, even with a smile, and to grab that person's attention, use the person's first name. John, when you did, did that, I felt this way. One of my friends have been using this for three months, and she had a shaking marriage before this whole thing started. And she said it saved her marriage. Ooh. When you, I felt. That's really good advice. Okay, so yes, we are stuck under one roof. Um, and at some point, you know, I mean, words are, you know, mute. You can't even deal with it at that point. Um, what is your best piece of advice when, you know, maybe it's just at that, you're just at that boiling point And, you know, it happens to everyone, you know, regardless of a pandemic or not. Absolutely right. And the most important word here is boundaries. And the boundaries should really be set up in advance so that you know and the other person knows that this is my corner, this is my chair, this is my desk. And for a certain amount of time, I am going to sit there and you must respect that and I must respect yours. And understand, it's, it's almost like a game, but you've got to play it if you're going to remain under that roof yeah, in peace and there harmony. are no rules and there are no rules in this game. You got to kind of make them up as you go, right? And the more people involved in your under your roof, the more difficult it's going to be. Yeah. Well, it sounds like just communication is really the key here, but I really love the uh, the the three Fs. What is it again? <laughs> fair, fair fighting. My fair fighting formula. Fair fighting formula. All right. So you just got to think about uh, the, your choice of words. Dr. Gilda, thank you so much. Good, solid tips that we can walk away with. Stay strong, stay healthy. We appreciate you. you and of course, our viewers, you need any more information, you can always visit the website, sonoranliving.com.